So some people have asked us, can you use your own samples with Daytona? Let's check it out. So I've got a Daytona install right here. And if we go to create, you'll see this template. We're gonna rename this samples, but for now, this is the template. And so if you click a template, it will go ahead and create for you an environment uh, that is you know, an Ubuntu environment or uh, example Go environment. And uh, this list is set by us. And some folks wanted to be able to overwrite that. And it turns out you can. It's actually relatively simple. Let's go look at it. So we're going to go to GitHub. And we're going to go to the Daytona IO uh, organization. And in here, you will find samples dot, our samples index. And in here, you will find a JSON file that has those samples. And it's pretty simple and straightforward. They have a name. They have a description a Git URL, which is whatever the URL of the Git repo you want, some image URL. So if we go back here, that's gonna be this photo or this picture right here when we get that. And then a readme, uh, which is a raw readme. So if you're hosting on GitHub, you're gonna wanna get the raw link and not the default GitHub link. And then really it's just a list of these you know, dictionaries in JSON. So if you want to override this, you absolutely can. So how do you go about creating a, a template repo? It's pretty simple. It's just basically any Git repo will do. Uh, there isn't any way to do parameterization at this time. Right now, what you see is what you get. And what will happen is when we clone it, um, we'll, we'll basically pull it down as, as a tarball. There won't be a Git in there. And then we'll basically create a new Git repo from the content of whatever is in this repo at the time. So if we go to my uh, repo, I've got my own copy of the samples index. And in here, I only have two. I, may, I took the Ubuntu repository and I actually added my simple Flask app. So my simple Flask app is just an app that is a Flask application, um, and I got rid of the others. So now how can we install this on that window here? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this raw JSON, and then we're gonna head over to the environment that I installed in. So this is where I have the installer for the um, Daytona cluster. And in here, I've got a script, update samples. It's relatively straightforward. I'll put a link in the description to the gist that has this. But if we go look at it, You're gonna pass in a URL using the command line, and then it's going to go and update the config map where this URL is stored. And then it'll also go ahead and re, uh, restart the application, and it will continue to hold onto the application or not return until that rollout has completed. That way um, you know when you can go back and check. So, uh, you can go download the gist, and then once you've got that, you do update samples, URL, and pass in yours, and then hit OK. You'll see here that we're replacing the original Daytona I.O. samples with mine, and it's going to take about 30 seconds for this rollout to finish. Great, that's done. We can go back now to Daytona, and when we reload... Now we have the two. And so that's how you can make your own. Now, if I click this Python, you'll see that actually this is the this is the readme that we linked, and we can go ahead and create this. So now it's gonna go and fire this up. So instead of having the original Python example, I've got my simple Flask app. 
you can create any repo you want, put any content in there, and then we'll more or less clone those files and only those files into a new directory and create that as a new repo. And so that's how, in just a couple of minutes, you can update it. Now let's say that you want it to go back to the way it was. Well, that's relatively easy. You can just run the script again without any command line and we'll go ahead and use the default and switch it back. And that way you can test this out and you can update this as often as you want if you make changes, if you add them. Also, by the time this video is out, the installer should have this as an option at the top so that you can deploy this from the very beginning. So if we go look at the installer script, the setup script, it's up here at the very top. You should just be able to, under template index URL, switch that to whatever you want, and then at install time, we'll put this in for you. Um, every time, a nice thing to do to have it installed at install time is every time this gets installed, it, will, it won't be updated again. Um, right now, until we put this into the admin panel, it'll get updated. That admin panel change will come eventually, but for now, you can just rerun the script anytime you need to update it, and it only takes 30 seconds. So that is how you update the samples list in Daytona.